Hey everyone, this is Tim Fayola. I'm a developer advocate here at Network to Code. And today we're gonna to do a walkthrough of getting up and started in a development environment for Nautobot using the Nautobot Lab container. And this is really cool because it gets you up and running in a matter of minutes without having to install a bunch of different packages on your system directly. This is all done via containers. So uh, with that, if we head over to the GitHub page for the Nautobot Lab and scroll down to the readme file. Again, it warns here, this container that we're gonna download is not for production use, only for development use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the container from uh, Docker Hub. So with that, we'll head over to our CLI here. Now I'm running this, I'm going to do this on a remote Ubuntu server. However, you can do this on your local host just fine as well. Okay. So since I'm on Ubuntu, I'm going to do this as the sudo user and I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, not about lab container. This will take a moment to complete because it's downloading a lot of different um, packages in the container. Great, there we go, we're all downloaded now. Now we're gonna just check the health of the container to make sure it's ready to run. So we'll do that with the docker ps command. Whoops. Got a sudo. All right, we're waiting for the health to say healthy. Right now it's still starting. This might take up to about 20, 20 you know, 25, 30 seconds for this to get to a healthy state. So we'll go ahead and give it another shot here. All right, it is now healthy. So um, with that, we can go ahead and um, uh, create a super user. So if we follow this link to the super user section of the readme.md, We'll go ahead and copy this command here to create the super user. Wow, got a sudo, shame on me. All right, here we go. So this is the super user you will use to log into the Nautobot web UI for the first time. It's the administrative account. And from there, then you can uh, create other users in the Nautobot web UI and assign different permissions to the different users. So here we go. Um, let's go ahead and access the, the URL here. So since I am on a remote, uh, server here, I'm going to, um, the URL is going to have my IP address instead of localhost. Okay, what we see here is a locked environment. So if we log in with our super user that we just created, there we go. The web UI is now unlocked. Now it'd be cool as a developer to have some mock and or demo data to work with. And this also comes with that, super cool. Now we are gonna load that mock data. We're gonna go back over to the readme file in the repository, down at the kick the tire section here. And there's this command here to load mock data into the Nautobot dev environment we just stood up. Two big things about doing this, two words of caution. One, it will, delete any existing data that's currently in your Nautobot environment. If you put any there already, it'll destroy that and wipe it. Two, it will change the user credentials. So prior to this, we created a super user with a certain password to log into the UI. Loading this mock data will change that super user. It'll wipe that super user name and password out in favor of the username demo and the password notobot. So two words of caution before you do this, okay? That being said, let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. I'm gonna not forget to sudo and go ahead and do this. Okay, loaded a bit of data there. 
Now let's go back to the UI. Okay, now it's prompting us for a login again. And again, we go back to demo and not a bot are the password. There we go. We now have a demo environment in a container with mock data to test with, to demo with, to experiment with. And there you go. I hope this has been helpful. This concludes this walkthrough of the Nautobot Lab container dev environment. Thank you for your time and have a great day.